Welcome to Serrano's History Department. This video will introduce you to the teachers in our department and give you an idea of some of the things that we do in the History Department. My name is Bill Sheik, and I teach eighth grade U.S. History and also honors eighth grade U.S. History. For students to be recommended into the honors program for history, we are looking for not only students who have a strong A in their seventh grade history class, but also have reading and writing skills that are above grade level, are able to think critically, and have a desire to dig deeper into learning historical concepts. Here you can see some of the activities we have done this year. In this activity, students compared the views of Hamilton and Jefferson to understand the birth of the first political parties. We also analyzed a couple of songs from the Hamilton musical to better understand some of the issues of George Washington's presidency. For our Westward Expansion Unit, uh, students worked on, in some classes, a letter discussing the Lewis and Clark expedition. In the honors class, students worked with a partner to create a newspaper with articles about the Lewis and Clark expedition. And then all my classes also just completed an Oregon Trail flyer where they had to give advice on how to survive the Oregon Trail, do's and don't tips. Good evening, parents. My name is Mr. Pine and I am a eighth grade US history teacher here at Serrano. And I am part of Serrano STEAM Village, which means that I collaborate with other STEAM teachers in science, math, English, and select elective courses in order to provide an interdisciplinary approach to learning. For example, this year in the STEAM Village, we asked the students to examine the question, what it was like to live through a global pandemic. And in my STEAM history class, we looked at how the government balances public safety and personal freedoms when reopening schools during a pandemic. Students also examined how the United States has managed its money and its history and its economic resources so that students can learn from the history of the United States to make their own futures brighter. Hi, I'm Mrs. Lee. I'm a US history teacher here at Serrano. Thanks for joining us this evening. I think it's very important that students know about our government, our constitution, as that will apply to their lives for a long, long time. And I think it's interesting that all the current events with the new election, that kind of thing going on that we can compare and contrast and see how our past informs our future and our current time period. You can see from the slide, I like to have students do interactive creative things, um, some avid lessons as well as warm-ups to get them started and to get their interest. So we use film clips to get their attention as well. And I think it's also important for students to know about maps and to know where things are in our country. So we do some interactive map games as well. I also show a lot of different activities and games we do here. Some are interactive websites they can visit and games, games mostly for review and to reinforce their learning and hopefully make history fun and something they remember. I think the most important thing at this age is to make students curious about history and curious about how they can impact the world. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Valenti and I have been teaching here at Serrano for the last 11 years. And prior to that, I was teaching over at Los Alisos. Um, I'm currently teaching three sections of world history. I have an eighth grade US history section. And then I also have our PAL program, which is an eighth grade um, year long elective. Some of the things that we'll be covering in world history is geography, the rise and fall of Rome, the Middle Ages, Islam, Africa, China and Japan, Renaissance, Reformation and exploration. Um, in terms of US history, we cover again, geography, exploration and colonization of the Americas, the American Revolution, Declaration of Independence, um, the Constitution, how the government was formed, Manifest Destiny and opening up the West, the Civil War and Reconstruction. Um, and then for PAL, again, it's an eighth grade year long elective, all about helping others, um, leadership, compassion, kindness, team building opportunities, peer tutoring. We do fundraisers, we do service hours, we do new student tours. 
And then here in this last slide, these are some of the examples of some of the projects that we've done in the past. Um, so here we have a haiku poem um, on our Japan chapter, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism. Here we've got the Bill of Rights, so going over those first 10 amendments. Here we've got some Chinese inventions, um, castles and cathedrals. Um, this was using Padlet and the Black Death and what the kids had learned. Um, so I look forward to meeting you soon. Take care. Good evening. This is Mr. Bilomo with the Serrano History Department, World History, U.S. History, 7th and 8th grade. And imagine a world without history. What would our world be like? Would we know who we were in the past, how we got here, why things are the way they are? Our world would be much different. One of my favorite quotes comes from the American Historical Society, and they say, history is about gaining access to the laboratory of human experience. So it really is a playground for us to develop an understanding of people and societies, our own lives, who we are, where our ancestors came from, how we got here, how things got to be the way they are, where we're headed. And we do that through things like timelines, enrichment, basic study and organizational skills, which are the foundation of learning, and writing, all kinds of activities. If you're interested in diving more into what we exactly learn in each seventh and eighth grade, you're welcome to check out the federal and state standards on the websites provided. Also important is starting school, any learning with a positive, happy attitude. For success, a happy attitude is again at the foundation of that. One of the great things we focus on in seventh grade is study habits, organizational skills, much like a planner a day, a planner a day, a planner a day, keeps those zeros away. So very important. And to help those seventh graders really advocate for themselves, it's a big step, a big growth. And then those eighth graders tend to develop those skills even more. And by the time they finish eighth grade, they're often ready for high school. So thank you so much for checking us out and look forward to seeing you and working with you in the future. Hi, I'm Pam Auer. And this year, I teach 7th grade history and 8th grade English. Suits me just fine because I love history and I love reading. Perfect match. In 7th grade history, we study the Middle Ages. So we go around the world, Europe, China, Japan, Africa, Arabia, and we study different dynasties and kingdoms. The book is, we get a hard book and it's also online, and there are review games and vocabulary quizzes for the kids just to all support them in their learning. In English, we also have an online text and a program called IXL, which allows the children to answer questions until they reach a pinpoint. And then the program tailor makes assignments for the students to do that focuses on their weaknesses and allows them to build their skills at their own pace. So just a few highlights of our programs. I hope you enjoy Serrano's showcase. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mr. Cook and I teach seventh grade world history. I'm also the seventh grade history teacher for the Steam Village. Uh, seventh grade history is a lot of fun. It covers the medieval period of world history, uh, which is basically the fall of Rome all the way through the enlightenment. And we go all around the world uh, covering the major civilizations that existed in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, Asia, the Americas, uh, and, and all that. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We also focus a lot on geography. In my class, we do a lot of maps. Uh, I like to offer a wide variety of um, projects and lessons uh, that range from the typical, like taking notes, um, to uh, reading primary documents, to making uh, nice looking timelines and graphics. Uh, you can see some of on the screen here. Uh, I'm also, I also really like competitions and games. So we play those a lot in class, especially uh, as tests are coming up and uh, to review for those. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm also the STEAM history teacher for seventh grade. Uh, STEAM, if you don't know, is stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So when those topics come up in my class in history, uh, we like to focus a bit more on those. Uh, one example of this you can see on the screen is um, perspective, which is something that was invented during the Renaissance. Uh, we go into a bit more detail as to exactly what that is and how to spot it in the different art. So yeah, that is seventh grade STEAM world history and I'm Mr. Cook, thank you.